hello there welcome to another talking music review so i've got my envelope from the, the pr company again i'm going to put my hand in let's see what we get this time and i'm going in with this one Oof, look at that robert plant and alison kraus raise the roof wow so that's what it looks like through the cellophane uh and then there's the back almost like a book style cover i have to say can't wait to open this up and see what it's like inside so let's have a look now let's unbox it for you so you can get into it as easy as uh, previous episodes he says probably not convincingly no oh, no i think i will looking forward to this release though i think it's going to sound absolutely fantastic here we go we're in it now so just opening up the cellophane like that and here we go as i say it's from warner music uk so if i open it up i'll open it up on camera there like that so as you open it up brilliant pictures with the the lyrics alongside for the album it's great and uh, love the pictures love the pictures see we were on about this. I was at about uh, discussing this with a few friends over the weekend. With streaming, you know, with your Amazon Music, with your Spotify, you just don't get this. You know, the artwork that accompanies the songs, the artwork that's been purposefully chosen to accompany the songs and everything that goes with it. And that's just, you don't get that. Uh, and I think it's worth just looking at something like this just to remind you that. Um, but brilliant pictures i'm just going to skip a few pages uh oh roller coaster look at that look at that roller coaster there um and then um credits etc in the back and let's have a look at the cd so there is the cd there ah, there we go there's the cd great cd so i'll just put that back in like that um what can i tell you it's got um some great tracks quattro what can i tell you it's got quattro world world drifts in the price of love uh go your way trouble with my lover searching for my love can't let go it don't bother me you led me to the wrong last kind world's blues high and lonesome going where the lonely go somebody was watching over me my heart would know and you can't rule me uh, and produced by T Bone Burnett as well. Um, so I'm going to give this a listen. I'm going to report back now. But I love the artwork, and I love the, I love these kind of CD style books. Uh, I wish I'd done that for the now yearbook ones I'd bought, uh, but I love them. Uh, but let's give it a listen. What did I think of it? So that was the unboxing uh, and uh, apologies for the delay with a new episode of Talking Music I've got quite a lot to upload so we'll get around to doing them but this tell you what, this is an absolutely fantastic album from start to finish, it really is, uh, there was an interesting uh, Mojo edition back in October last year um, so there's the front cover of it there of uh, Robert Plant and Alison Krauss uh, and I've just left that bit of paper in so I can show you inside because you might have missed it so this was the uh, the picture that they had done for uh, Mojo inside uh, and it's a really interesting article if you can get hold of it um, kind of reunited it talks about obviously Raising Sand the first album that they did together as well but um, some really really good uh, pictures and uh, features in there so that was a mojo from october last year um and as i say it was such a gap between the last album raising sand to come back together 14 years um and it features 12 new recordings on this album of songs including merle haggard uh, the everly brothers uh bert jansh so many more uh, other highlights include a plant burnett original called high and lonesome and also the classic can't let go which was written by randy weeks um, first recorded by lucinda williams there you go if you're interested um but it is brilliant i mean my favorites on here i would say you've got uh, the price of love uh, that's a brilliant cover of that um searching for my love that is a wonderful song 
and um, you, you'll get the gist of the the album. It kind of uh, flicks between kind of Robert Plant leading, then into Alison Krauss, and there's some fantastic uh, uh, harmonies and work along the way as well. Um, but it's just absolutely brilliant. And an album that you can play literally over and over again, and I have done already. It's it's just one of those that you know is going to be, uh, you know, regularly re repeated. Uh, I love the book inside, though, uh, the, the lyrics and the pictures. Um, uh, so you've got the lyrics and a nice little uh, hardback book that goes uh, with the with the album. Um, I'd say Quattro as well, World Drifts In, the, the opening track. That's a, just a great track to start the album. Um, and also Tr Trouble With My Lover, wonderful track. Um, you Led Me To The Wrong. I'm just going to say all of them. That is how good the album is. And all I need to do now is buy Raising Sand because I haven't got it. So th that's my homework after listening to this. Um, as I say, it did come out in November. The touring together this year uh, as well. Um, hopefully it won't be 14 years before they release another album. But uh, my homework is definitely to go go and get hold of Raising Sand. And if you, if you have Raising Sand already, drop me a message below and tell me which tracks are worth uh, checking out first. Um, but... Um, it's, it really is a strong album. One of the best albums that I've listened to in recent years. That is how good it is. Um, all just from literally from start to finish. You don't want to skip any of the tracks. It's just an absolute joy. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Talking Music as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe. More reviews coming soon. Bye for now.